Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Everyday Faith, day 12. Hope you guys had a great weekend, are doing well today on your Monday as we dive into another day on stories. And this passage comes from Acts 22, 14, and 15, and it says this. Then he told me, the God of our ancestors has chosen you to know his will and to see the righteous one and hear him speak. For you are to be his witness, telling everyone what you have seen and heard. And if you continue to read, it says, if there was ever an unlikely candidate to have their story and life used by God, it would have been the Apostle Paul. He was adamantly against Christianity, and his number one job was to stop Christianity in its tracks. But as he was on his way to arrest Christians, he had a miraculous encounter with Jesus. And it was during that encounter that God revealed his grand plan for Paul. Paul's story would become part of God's story. Because of our past or because of how we view our lives compared to others, we sometimes feel unqualified or unworthy to be wanted by God. But the truth is that God desires for our stories to be part of his greater story. No matter who you are, no matter where you're at in your story, no matter where you're at in your walk, God created and designed you to be part of his story. I love a piece of this that I think uh, we often get hung up on, especially in the social media age, because everything's perfect from the outside looking in. You know, nobody posts struggles on Facebook or Instagram. It's all the good and the joy. And you know, it's almost like we live in an age where you just want to one up the one next to you, right? But it says this, because of our past or because of how we view our lives compared to others, we sometimes feel unqualified or unworthy to be wanted by God. But the truth is, God desires for our stories, all of our stories, to be a part of his greater story. No matter who you are, God created and designed you to be a part of his story. Uh, I think that's a, an awesome devotion for the day. It reminds me of, you know, I was talking to my brother. My brother's done very well in life and you know, he can travel the world and he can do kind of whatever he wants and he's, he's worked hard and he's, and he's you know, created a great life for his family and they're very comfortable and he's very generous. Uh, but he never posts about, um, he never posts about the trips. He never posts about the things. He never posts about the fact that they got this beautiful house. He never, he never does that. Because it's not, he's not trying to, to ever one-up someone. And unfortunately in this life, you know, the next door neighbor then needs to try to get that and try to go on that vacation or try to do that thing. Because we're always, we'll go into debt and do whatever we can to keep up with the next person. That's not, my brother's story is not my story. That's not your story. The next door neighbor who just got a raise and is able to do all these things is not your story. Um, the beauty is that God created you in your story and he's going to use you in your story no matter what it looks like around you no matter what's happening around you on social media or other things no matter who you are god created and designed you and you're perfect the way you are and your story is the perfect your story is perfect the way it is because he created you to be part of his story guys be blessed have a great day we'll see you tomorrow Bye bye